At the heart of Be Free is the builder. This is where you can unleash your creativity to create beautiful, high-performing emails and landing pages. This video will help you familiarize yourself with our drag and drop builder and the core features found within it. The topics we'll cover include the stage and the sidebar, content blocks, rows, the settings tab, undo, redo, and version history, the top navigation bar, and mobile design mode. Inside the Be Free Builder, there are two main areas. The stage, which is where you drop content blocks and rows to create your layout, and the sidebar, which is where you can find all of the functionality you'll need to create your design and where you can fine-tune properties like colors, fonts, and more. If you want more real estate to focus on your design, you can even minimize the sidebar at any time using this icon here. To begin designing on the stage, you must select a design element from the sidebar. The sidebar includes three tabs to help you create content. The content tab includes all of the content blocks you'll need for adding specific elements to your design. From text-based options like the title, paragraph, and list blocks, to adding media like images, videos, and GIFs, to layout tools like dividers, spacers, and menus, these components make up the core toolkit for crafting your designs. When you add a content block to your design, like so, you can tweak it even more by adjusting its settings in the sidebar. Each content block has its own unique settings as well, giving you extra flexibility to tailor your design exactly how you want it. Next is the Rows tab. Rows help you determine the structure of your design. They serve as foundational layout elements, defining the horizontal arrangement of sections and columns within your emails and landing pages. Using this dropdown, you can choose from default rows, which are row templates designed with pre-configured content blocks, empty rows, which are row templates that do not contain pre-configured content blocks, saved rows, which are existing rows that you've customized and stored, and pre-built footers. When you drag a row into your design, you can fill it with whatever content blocks you'd like. For example, maybe you want to add a video below a header in your email, like so. So we've added our video content block and all we need is our URL. Perfect. Or perhaps maybe you want a short paragraph to nestle right beside an image. So now that I've dropped my paragraph block there, I can copy some text that I have and paste it here. Like content blocks though, you can edit the settings of each individual row to suit your needs. For example, we can adjust the number of columns here to three and we can change the background color of our row and maybe even increase the padding as well. Awesome. The settings tab is the starting point for any design, allowing you to establish global design elements that both rows and content blocks will inherit. You can manage settings that include changing the content area width, the background color of both your rows and content blocks, and the default font. There are a few other settings you should familiarize yourself with in the builder. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can undo or redo an action and revert to a previously saved version of your design. In the top right corner, you can access the resource center to show you what's new in the product and help answer any questions you might have. In the top left of the navigation bar, this icon indicates whether you're designing an email or page. Beside it, you have the option to customize the name of your design to help you stay organized and better identify your work. Next, let's go over these icons here. In order from left to right, you can preview your content on desktop, mobile, and even dark mode. With this button, you can send a test of your email to your colleagues or friends. In the edit details, you can change your subject line, preheader, and any UTMs you want to include in your email. The all comments icon accesses our commenting functionality where you can tag teammates and share feedback. The Initiate Review icon is a premium feature that empowers you to kickstart a streamlined approval process within your team to help ensure your review workflow is as organized and efficient as possible. And in the far right hand corner here we have the Export button where you can export your designs to your favorite tools, you can download the HTML, or even save a PDF to your desktop. Lastly, you have the option to switch to Mobile Design Mode by clicking on this icon. This allows you to easily edit and enhance your designs for mobile devices. For instance, 
You can hide content on certain devices or stack content for smaller screens. Keep in mind that when using the mobile view, you can design as usual, much like in desktop mode. However, it's essential to remember two things. That this symbol in the sidebar beside padding means that this feature will only affect your mobile design and ensures that any adjustments made will not be mirrored on desktop. Secondly, in mobile design mode, the gray backdrop functions as a visual aid only, providing a guide to comprehend the framing of your content. It's important to note that this backdrop is purely for your reference and won't be visible to recipients upon sending. And that's our overview of the Be Free Builder. For more tutorials and walkthroughs of Be Free and its features, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an opportunity to elevate your design skills. Thanks for watching.